good to see you. Again. Great seeing you, Mr. President. A real pleasure. Thank well, you so much. Pleased to have you. You look in excellent shape. Well, I feel good. All right. Let's, let's, let's come in and can I read that you are lovely to sign. So I That's the best thing one has in the life. And you are still riding the whole thing, I can see. Yes. Strong in your saddle. Did you stop it at the very age? You know, not as a family, it didn't make it available to you. As I was family, you know, I had a stop it here. I started in the band. I found myself in a situation where I had to go for the lights, please. And then to your left, you know the door. All the way to the end of the situation now, the less said the better. A yeah, curious thing happened to him. The commission of the horse cavalry and then was called up to active duty in World War II. And found up popping myself in the Air Force. So I put it flying a desk. My goodness. Nice, please. Exit to your left. Please. Yeah, well, it was just a full call. All the yeah. Because they had been executed. Questions on your SDI development or testing? Well, now, as I said, I'm not going to take any questions, but uh, no, I think everything that we're doing, as I've said so many times, I'll at least make that answer because I have said it before, it is within the terms of the treaty. And Sir, are you going to post a reward for a boss? I'm not going to. I'm not going to comment on any, any of those things having to do with that situation. Please. What about SDI testing in the future, Mr. President? They're all satisfied with downsells. They're never satisfied with downsells. I think it was Senator Murphy who wants to know the gentleman ahead of all of the U.S. question. But he was unique in that. Thank you. 
That was the mood I had this morning. And they would try their best to prevent what may appear as a confrontation with the White House. And the problem that emerged was what will lead to what? Will arms lead to peace or will peace enable Jordan to have arms? They don't get much. And if they get them from someplace else, they won't have the controls and limits on them. Hello there. Hello. Cecil Serap is the president of the Weizmann Institute. May I, Mr. President, Mr. Prime Minister, Secretary Schulz, uh, distinguished guests, it is my very great privilege and, of course, the most profound personal pleasure for me to represent the scientific staff of the Weizmann Institute of Science on this moving and significant occasion, the confirmation by the Institute of a PhD honoris causa on Ronald Reagan, President of the United States. It is in the name of this scientist, and therefore on behalf of the scientific establishment of the State of Israel in general, that I wish to thank you for the honor you do us by accepting the highest distinction we can bestow. For those of us who are committed to the free pursuit of knowledge, the words that you yourself spoke on a different occasion, Mr. President, now assume a new meaning. I quote, a troubled and afflicted mankind looks to us pleading that we keep our rendezvous with destiny. So you once said, words I believe that also describe the pervasive sense of responsibility towards society with which enlightened scientists undertake their research. And it is in this spirit that I welcome you to membership in the International Community of Science. And let me just read the scroll, and I will not read it in Hebrew, even though we have both languages, but just the English text. The Executive Council of the Board of Governors of the Weizmann Institute of Science, at the instance of the Scientific Council, hereby confers on Ronald Reagan, President of the United States of America, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy Honoris Causa and recognition of his incomparable stature as a leader of the nations of the free world and of his long-standing and masterful efforts on behalf of full intellectual freedom everywhere, of his profound concern for and effective perception of the centrality of scientific research and the betterment of man's life on earth, and above all, of his historic role in the strengthening of the essential cultural and moral bonds, which as they have always done, linked the United States with the State of Israel. The Hobart Israel October 85, the life of Salem. Well, thank you very yes. much. I am greatly honored. I know something of, of the prestigious position of that institution and the contribution that it has made to mankind. And I am... I'm, Deeply honored. I, I know that I know, sir, that there are probably some professors of a vintage of about fifty years ago who tried to persuade me many times to be more scholarly than I was inclined to be, who would be astounded at this happening. What you did through contribution.
we have met with our attaching some issues of which are of common interest or either important to us. We started with the economic situation. We are kind of performing that what was called the security net that we should try to make a major effort to recover our own economy by tightening our belt. The man who's responsible for me being here. <laughs> My dad, <laughs> Al Trotter. Well, pleasure to and an honor. Anyway, pleased to have you in here. Thank you. Thanks, I appreciate it. He keeps us in line. Good. Yes. Good. Well, why don't you step in and we get a, a picture here? All right. He can take it back to San Diego, Mr. President. All right. Thank you very much. Okay, San Diego. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you, Mr. President. You bet. You got it? We got it. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> but, uh, Mr. President, this is uh, Sergeant Mock. Well, this is one of the White House members. Well, it's good to see you. Thank you, Sam. Leaving or are you going? I'll be going back to the Marine Barracks, sir. I'm submitting a package. Oh, over here at the, at the barracks in the cabin. Yes, sir. Well, thanks for everything, for what you're doing. And sometimes I know you probably wear civilian clothes, so there's a tie bar just as a souvenir. Thank you, sir. All right. Now, it's been an honor, sir, being here. Well, we're pleased to have had you. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay.